Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am a part-time reseller. So I source goods online and thrifting and I sell them for profit on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I basically sell anything and everything I can find if it'll make a profit. Um, and today I have for you an update on my Robert Graham box. So I will post the original video here. This box came from Boutique by the Box and it's one of my favorite unboxings I've done so far because the stuff in it, when I first opened it was so exciting and then I looked up comps and it was more exciting. And if you've been watching my channel at all, um, especially if you've seen my um, top what sold for the month, those videos, pieces from this box have been featured in every single video basically since I opened that box. So I wanted to come on and give you guys an official update on everything that was in the box and how it actually did, right? I know, you know, you see piece by piece, but I wanted to put it all together for us. So this box originally was 10 new with tag Robert Graham pieces. I purchased this from Boutique by the Box in May of 2021. I don't remember the exact date, but it was May of 2021 and it was $200 for 10 shirts. So they were $20 a piece. And when I started looking this stuff up, they were um, all current season or just one season ago, still being sold online, either at the Robert Graham website or like Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, etc. So it was a very exciting box. And so I wanna break down for you what exactly sold each piece how much it sold for, where it sold, and um, you know what my final assessment is based on the numbers, not just getting excited about what's in the actual box. So I'll post uh, over here the screenshots of what it is, and I'm gonna go from least profitable to most profitable, and then I'll show you, because there are a, piece, a few pieces I haven't sold yet, so I'll show you what is still listed. now. Um, everything was um, listed for 90 days. We're at the 90 day mark right now on this box. So everything that we're looking at here sold within 90 days. Typically my rule of thumb for boxes in order to say it was a good box would be that I triple my money within 90 days. So we'll kind of see how this plays out. Seven of them have sold. Two of them are still available and one I have not listed yet at all and if you stick around till the end i will tell you why um also if you like content like this i always do my unboxings here on youtube and then i do a 90 day update so if you like content like this please subscribe and um that way you never miss one of my videos uh, and you get all the updates on all these unboxings so anyway without further ado here's number seven so number seven technically um was this palm tree shirt that was the name of it the palm tree shirt or that's what I called it so number seven was this short sleeve palm tree shirt and I sold this for $59 on Mercari um, so the profit on that was about $27 now remember that my cost of goods on these were $20 a piece right um, so $27 profit on that one on Mercari that one took about two weeks to sell Number six is this sweater, which it was a very thin like linen blend sweater. It was called the Brick House Sweater. And um, this one was a collaboration with another designer actually. And I was thinking this one was gonna do like really, really well, but it actually didn't sell so quickly. Um, it actually sold after 92 days. Um, this one sold on Poshmark for Poshmark for $65. So my profit on that after the selling fees was $32. Um, the next one, number five, was this kind of knit sweater shirt. The style was Cantana or Cantana. Um, this one I sold for $80 and that was on eBay. And so the profit on that one was $44. Number four was this was called the Nelson was the style name and I'm right in that window where it sold really quickly on eBay. It was um, 
it sold within two weeks and I'm a little late making the video. I'm a little late at the 90 day mark making the video. So um, I don't have my, my what sold screenshot, but this is the shirt from the Bloomingdale's website actually. This is the stock photo from Bloomingdale's. This one sold for $89.99 also on eBay. So $51.99 profit for me. Number three, was this one was called fireworks and i'm sure you could see why um this one sold four days this was only listed for four days uh and it sold for 100 dollars on ebay i believe i accepted an offer on that one um i had it listed a little higher than that i think i had it listed at like 149 but i accepted the offer so that was a 60 dollars profit um, number two ward was the style name and this one sold for again a hundred dollars on ebay 60 dollar profit after fees and number one um, which this one took a little longer to sell it was worth the wait though a little over 30 days um, but this was a short sleeve shirt it was called two-faced which you can see why um, this one sold for 120 dollars on ebay with a 76 dollar profit the two that i still have listed uh this one is called the eves y-v-e-s i think i'm saying that right this, i like this shirt this shirt is cool looking and i'm not sure why it hasn't sold i have reduced the price on all platforms um, just hoping to move it um, but it hasn't moved yet um it is still up for grabs as of the filming of this video but i probably will delete and start deleting and relisting these just to move them um, so that one is still available and then there's one more called the felder and this one's still available as well again i don't know why some of the styles did better than others but uh it is what it is i guess hopefully again this is only 90 days so i'm sure these two will still sell um just not sure when uh, I'll be working on that. Um, there is one that I haven't listed. That's only nine. There is one that I have not listed. And if you're still watching, you get this information first. Uh, I am soon coming up on my 100th YouTube video, which I can't even believe that. I feel like I haven't been doing this that long. Um, but I'm coming up on video number 100. And I am... Um, going to do a giveaway of items from my different mystery boxes and so there have been some items from all the different boxes i've unboxed and um I, i've been setting them aside to g do a giveaway on my 100th video so now is your chance to subscribe hit that bell i'm not going to say where we're at in the 100 list but um it is coming up so my 100th video i want to do a huge giveaway which will be a an assortment of items from the different mystery boxes i'm thinking of doing it all new with tags right but this is going to be stuff i've been kind of just setting aside so stay tuned for that all right so let's get back into the box and my total cost on this box was 200 dollars. 200 with free shipping straight 200 dollars and um as of right now my profit is 311 dollars and 19 cents so i've made my money back plus 300 dollars and 11 cents okay so my rule of thumb hear me out guys hear me out my rule of thumb is to triple my money in 90 days i have just over doubled my money but i am still gonna say this was a freaking awesome box okay i'm still in 300 dollars profit on only 10 items so if we think about it in totality it was 10 items i've got one really good item to put in a giveaway I've got another nine items that all sold quickly, or seven items that all sold quickly, and another two that I don't think are gonna sit around that long. They were in season, they were new with tags, they were easy to find online, to find stock photos and to find descriptions. So there was minimal amount of work on my end when I was listing these items. So all in all, 
you know, although we didn't hit that triple mark, this is still gonna be one of my favorite boxes that I have ever gotten. So Boutique by the Box, thank you. I love this one. I can only hope, and I don't know how often Boutique by the Box gets Robert Graham specifically, but I will definitely be on the lookout for another one of these. I would take this all day, every day, if I could source like this and profit like this I certainly would. Huh, so there's my final assessment. I hope you guys um, found this helpful. I think the lesson in this one, because I almost didn't buy it to be honest, $20 per item, that's a little bit of a gamble, you know? Lucky for me, I was able to profit, but sometimes if you're spending $20 an item and the opportunity for profit just isn't there, that's a lot of money per item to, to lose on, right? So this one was a little bit out of my comfort zone and I think that's why, I, one of the reasons this is so rewarding to see that it did so well. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. I mean, you don't wanna like put yourself in a position to lose money, but you know, sometimes paying up for stuff is not a bad thing because sometimes when you pay more for something that's of a higher end or worth more, it ends up working out for you in the end. So anyway, if you are still watching, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this update helpful. I hope you're still so excited about this box like I am. Um, like I said, I do these recaps for every unboxing I do. So it's, you know, it's not just about what came in the box and I can show you what's in it and leave you to make your assumptions of whether it was good or not, but I'm showing you real data as how it performed for me. So if you find these helpful, drop me a like, um, subscribe to my channel. I, I would love to have you again in a future video. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.